Lazy bastard reviews continue. It's not really a review. Uh, when I was uh, making the power pack uh, bundle video, I needed some footage for uh, R-Type and uh, there's something called R-Type Deluxe for the Atari ST only that kept coming up, so I had to check it out. Now really, I thought R-Type was quite good for the ST. The only thing I did like was the, um, the lack of tiles on level 1, you know, the silver wall tile background sort of thing. I fucking hated that. And uh, I saw a screenshot of the arcade, it turns out, uh, on Atari Mania. I didn't flip through all the screens for the game, so I assumed it would be in there, because I thought, well, 2015, someone's doing a proper version of our type It's a 16-bit computer. So anyway, but I thought I'd check it out anyway, and uh, of course, it comes with the uh, R-Type Amiga title music, which I fucking hate. I don't like that music. Probably because it reminds me what a piss poor job they did on the Amiga version. Maybe. It's just not my kind of music anyway. I'd rather listen to the uh, one minute intro of the uh, seven minute remix of To Cut A Long Story Short on 12 inch vinyl myself. But, uh, you know. FM based music is your thing. You know, I know the SD can do uh, that particular multiplayer thing, although it does have to uh, double up on the uh, digital to audio converter. So. God knows what I was doing here. I've edited the video, I think. No, that's it, yeah, because uh, there's the intro. I thought, well, I'd better leave that to uh, run next time. I don't know if this is in the arcade. Famously, if you're a regular on my channel, you'll know that uh, the corner shop that sold sweets and jokes and other stupid childish things had three arcade machines Nemesis, Salamander and R-Type and R-Type was the one I played the least the summer of 86 as I know it so for some reason it's got YM based music now and it's a funky remix which I don't appreciate uh, just stick with the uh, perfect copy of the arcade music thank you that's my attitude hey you're welcome to have a different opinion but I'm welcome to have the opinion I want the original arcade music I don't want the remix thank you maybe some people really like it but uh, I'm no good at this game I'm really shit at our time plus in my defense your honor I have to use the, uh, the cursor keys on the emulator for the uh, modern millennial quality uh, keyboards you get now which are like fucking remote control buttons although remote controls are even shit now more shit I should say than the old remote controls used to get in the old days but uh, you know what so I didn't do too well but I decided to keep playing because uh, I wanted to get to that level where the, uh, the grey metallic uh, background fades in where the turrets are which is really my favourite bit of uh, level 1 I, I guess it was nice seeing that in the arcade that was like that's the kind of thing that's the difference between something Phalamus would make on the ST and Amiga yeah I'll come back to that little bastard turret there but um, yeah, so that's basically what I was playing here, because uh, I loved that, and that's the one thing I really did like about the ST version. This stupid Starfield carried on the whole way through, right to the end. The rest of it was okay for the ST, but that really bugged me back then. And I bought the original, so that's probably why. For giving us the pleas for having a different opinion, but you know, you know how it is. I'm a lonely old bastard sitting in his way. Nah, I'm 
pretty sure that the ST version <coughs> and the Amiga version allow you to continue there with a the countdown. But maybe I've done something wrong with uh, adding credits. So the, the graphics, I don't know if they're different actually, they probably are different. It's just hard to tell because 85% of the uh, background graphics, uh, you know, ignoring the spaceships and stuff, is pretty much just a black background. So it's really hard to tell, I'd have to look side by side. Oh, Jesus Christ, we sold up. Fucking fresh tobacco in it. So you probably notice there is some slowdown. Now I did actually go back and uh, see if I could run it at 16 megahertz, which there is actually a 16 megahertz STE. So you know that is a thing that Atari made. And it got supported, the uh, title screen music is fucked for a start, and you can't start the game for some. But yeah, there is some slowdown, which I'd have to go back and check the Amiga version now, because the whole point of doing stuff like this is to make it at least the same as the uh, ooh, acceptable Amiga version. I wouldn't say the Amiga conversion is good. I won't buy an Amiga to play R-Type, no, I'd buy a PC Engine to play R-Type, and that was the thing. I played PC Engine R-Type with Julian Rickman, mate, with my uh, PCW show, Press Pass. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. My mate's uh, dad used to be involved in some sort of trade thing to do with, uh, you know, the computer scene. Mostly business stuff, but we did get trade passes to uh, which meant we could go on the first day because you had to wait like two or three days before the public were allowed in. The unwashed masses! Yeah, you stay back there, mate. I'm going early. So this little blue turret, he takes a hell of a lot of hits, which really annoys me. I haven't even got to a fucking turret yet. But <laughs> I do like these little aliens. They remind me of the movie Aliens with like bulk technology attached to their aliens, but anyway. But yeah, they really should have at least detected the 16 megahertz uh, CPU because some of us do actually have two Atari Mega STEs with 16 megahertz. It might help the slowdown. I don't know what the issue with the slowdown is. Though might actually be something to do with the uh, blitter. They're using hardware scrolling as well, so, you know, it is kind of like playing an Amstrad game with slowdown. That's just, uh, you don't expect that from some 2015 remake. But where's the fucking tiles, mate? 